tune of events for the Sooners. I'm Ryan Aber from NewsOK.com here at Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa, where Oklahoma was beaten 77-70 to by Iowa State on Monday night. And uh, the key to this game is simple. A 22-0 run by the Cyclones in the second half, about five minutes in. Uh, the run didn't take very long. It started with uh, Isaiah Cousins from Oklahoma being called for a technical after Ryan Spangler blocked a shot. Cousins had something to say, was teed up, and that really got things going. George Niang hit two free throws after that, drove on, on the uh, ensuing possession, scored again just a couple seconds later, and the run was on, and uh, the Cyclones never looked back. Like I said, a 22-0 run. They are fantastic. But it wasn't just uh, the, the technical that got things turned around. Iowa State started hitting the offensive glass much harder than they were early, started forcing turnovers by the Sooners, and things just unraveled quickly. 28-16 uh, to 16 rebounding advantage for the Cyclones after halftime, 19-4 to four points off turnovers. Iowa State led in the second half. The Sooners uh, led by as many as 21 in this game and just fell apart in the final minutes. No other way to put it. Uh, George Yang, 20 of his 23 points came in the second half. Monday Morris uh, had 19 for the Cyclones. After the game, Sooners coach Lon Kruger talked about the disappointing loss. Good first half, uh, obviously. Uh, second half, not at all uh, what we needed, but, uh, you know, uh, Nang off the dribbles was tough. Morris off the dribble was tough, uh, creating opportunities for him, and, and we've got to guard him better. Coach, you've been around the game a long time. Can, can you ever recall an instance where first half one team can't miss, second half other team can't miss? Oh, that happens. Uh, this was a pretty you know, high degree of that, of course, tonight. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that that happens. Again, you know, they're, they're a good ball club. Uh, they, you know, what, they did in the first half, wasn't likely to happen in the second half, and they uh, responded well.